As a life coach, my job is not to tell my clients what to think or what to do. My job is to ask questions. Questions to help you see your life from a fresh perspective. Questions to spark your creativity. Questions to help you come up with solutions that maybe you hadn't considered before. I'm basically a professional question asker. And today I have some tough questions for you. Big questions, deep ones. Questions that just might change your thinking and change your life. That's what today's show is all about. Are you game for some questions? Regardless of who you are, whether you work full-time, you're self-employed, whether you're a parent or not, whether you are 18 years or 98 years old, whoever you are, whatever you do, these questions apply to you. So here we go. Oh, hey, I'm Susan Hyatt, and this is Go Time TV. This is the show about creating what you crave right now. I'm a master certified life coach, author, entrepreneur, motivational speaker. I'm also a mom of two college age kids, and I'm married, and I've learned a lot in these 47 years. And one thing I've learned is that we're done with certain things. We're done with apologizing. We're done with hiding. We're done with pretending that we're not good enough to go after our goals and our dreams. So join me for these short episodes where I bring you on a journey and teach you how to get more of what you want. More time, more energy, more money, more intimacy, whatever it is that you crave, we're gonna create it right here on GoTime TV. Okay, peeps, I have seven questions for you. The first three questions are for business owners and the last four questions apply to everybody, regardless of your profession. We're gonna do the first three questions right now. Again, all you entrepreneurs out there, these first three questions are especially for you. So question number one, running a successful business requires courage. You have to be willing to step outside your comfort zone and talk to people, promote yourself, share your work publicly and put yourself out there. What are five courageous steps you've taken in the last month? Question number two, how much money would you like to be generating each year through your business? Why aren't you making that much yet? What's been stopping you? What's the issue? Be honest. So think on those questions and write down your answers. And I hope those questions bring you some clarity on what you need to be focusing on. Maybe you need to be a little braver and bolder. Maybe you need to get clear on how much you want to earn and actually declare a number to yourself instead of being vague about your financial goal. Maybe there's something you've been avoiding and it's time to deal with that. New questions lead to new realizations. It's time for a two minute upgrade. This is the part of the show where I demonstrate how to upgrade one part of your life in two minutes or less. And today we're gonna focus on your computer desktop. All right, so look, I ain't gonna lie, this is something I've needed to do for years. My computer desktop is a hellscape of chaos. It makes me cringe when I look at it and when I do webinars and a screen share and people see it, it's hilarious. So it's so cluttered and distracting, that's never a good thing. So I'm gonna attempt to lead by example and show you some ways to clean things up. So here we go. All right, so I've got, I gotta be honest. Like I, I literally wanna just throw the computer away. Like I, I don't even know, I know you're supposed to create folders, but look at all this stuff. So um, Bianca is here. She is my executive assistant and Brandon is here who is my camera man and video editor and we're gonna like figure this stuff out and i've already said like listen if this is a captain america moment where for some reason y'all see photos you're not supposed to see <laughs> i'm sort of sorry okay so let's uh bianca there i really think that there should be a way for me to just like click a button and everything be sorted oh that's so sweet <laughs> so like what i mean like there's old pictures on here from like photo shoots from like four years ago. 
I don't even know. Like, oh, this was Hawaii. This oh, was a cool. waterfall. Isn't that fun? That's Rachel. Oh. <laughs> so, um, all right. So, what do we like? What What do we do? So, what I would start with is, uh, and I know Brandon had different ideas too, but uh, I just go ahead and make a folder of photos. Um, so, so, like, um, new folder. Yeah, a new folder. I don't know, where do you do that? Oh, down here probably. Oh, okay, so this is a little different than what no. mine is. Desktop. Like desktop, yeah. Desktop and then... So that's one folder that you currently have that already, <laughs> <laughs> that already has pictures in it. Okay. It does not say 2011 pics. Yeah. Did it say that? Yeah. It said 2011 pics? Let's yeah. see. What's in here? Oh! That was for my create your own luck photo shoot. Oh my God, these are so fun. Actually, this was one of my favorite photos. Chelsea took that. Um, okay, so if I go to desktop mm -hmm. and I want new, new folder. folder. Okay, so probably go back to your desktop. And then okay. new folder. Right new there. folder. Y'all, we learning. And then photos, probably. And then photos. And then, um, oh, oh, photos is already taken. What a bunch of shit. Put a, we could go ahead and change that to um, Zoom because you have all these Zoom copies right here. And so we'll just go uh, ahead and move those first. Why? See? Why is this? Uh, okay. What are we calling this? Zoom. Zoom. Okay. And then we can just move these MP4s there to it. Look at this. Maybe. Okay, come on. Do it. There you go. Ah! I love that satisfying <laughs> dong dong. And then you have some more zoom right here. So. Okay, so this is what we're supposed to be doing. So, like, are there people that you can pay to come do this? Um, executive assistants usually. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I'm just I. I'm going to let you guys know that you probably have a good. 30,000 items on your desktop. Mm -hmm. So rather than like clicking can through, we, can you should we organize it organize by file it. type. Oh, file so type. Make your you know, make that make bigger. window bigger. And click by kind right there. There you go. There it is. Oh, look, I already have some folders. So you had another Zoom from 2018. Oh, Zoom is it. So, so all of these, are these all podcasts then? So she can make a podcast one um, or like audio? I would just make, yeah, make it like an audio folder. Okay, so new folder again. And then audio. And then, oh, oh. That's way oh, easier. Oh, y'all look. Even this is like a pain in the butt, but look at all these fun people I've interviewed over the years. No kidding. Um, and then you just drag it up, up to audio. Here we, there we go. go. Audio. How satisfying. Boom. Right, so, so, with 30,000 items on my desktop, obviously this is gonna take us a lot longer than two minutes, but I bet it doesn't take you longer than two minutes. So what we're gonna do is clean this stuff up, and the next time y'all come to a webinar, when I do my screen share, it's gonna be clean, it's gonna look great. Okay, so what's one thing you could do to upgrade your workspace or your home? Think on it and go do it. Set a timer for two minutes or play a two minute song and get moving. It's amazing what a difference two minutes can make for real. All right, you ready for more questions? Like I mentioned, I have seven total questions for you. And the first three questions were for business owners. We did these earlier in the show. The next four questions apply to everyone, regardless of what kind of work you do. All right, so here we go. Question number four, imagine it's several years into the future and you're sitting down with your grandchildren and your grandchild asks you, back in 2020, during the pandemic and the Black Lives Matter movement and the big election, were you an activist? Were you involved? What kinds of things did you do to help? 
how will you answer this child? Will you say to this child, you know, I was really busy and overwhelmed during that time, so I really didn't have much to do to help out. Or will you have something else to say? Question number five. What's one area of your life where you need to be less timid and passive and more courageous and active? Question number six. If you had 24 hours to live, what would you do with your time? And question number seven, at your funeral, what do you hope people say about you? <laughs> Whoa, really though? Those are tough questions, tough and beautiful, so take some time. One powerful question can change your whole day or your week or your year. There are so many amazing people in my community, my family, my friends, my employees, and of course my clients and viewers like you. I wanna take a moment to give a special shout out to a few of you amazing humans. Right now, I wanna highlight a few people who are setting exciting goals, getting out there and getting things done. People who are taking action now instead of postponing things till later. People who really exemplify the go time spirit. And today I wanna to give a shout out to Tammy Stallings. So Tammy is my decorator and designer of my home renovation. And if you follow me on social media or attend any of my classes, you know that having contractors in my space has been a little bit of a challenge. And we had quite a firm deadline of October 1 to get most of the renovations done so that we would have a beautiful space to film Finish Strong. Tammy quickly recognized with many pieces of furniture being back ordered that this wasn't gonna happen. So what did Tammy do? <laughs> she rented her own Penske truck and drove to North Carolina and she and her husband loaded my furniture on it and brought it back to Evansville so that we would meet that deadline. Talking about going after it, Tammy meets her deadlines and being late was not an option. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, Tammy. You made my space not only beautiful, but you delivered on time. Next, I wanna give a special shout out to my COO, Anna Mecca. So I just mentioned my big event, Finish Strong, which we will drop a link in the show info so that you can take a look at what we produced. It was an amazing two-day event. We like to send out beautiful custom-made boxes to our clients. And so for every person who registered for Finish Strong, we sent them the coolest box filled with goodies so that they could have those in preparation for the event. And what ended up happening was a box supplier not delivering on time. And at the final hour, we were faced with a decision of either delivering boxes late or finding someone else who could do it quickly. Anna quickly jumped in and found a printer within an hour of her home in Minneapolis. She had the order placed, 24 hour custom box print turnaround, which is unheard of. And she, my COO, drove to Minneapolis, stuffed all the boxes herself and personally mailed them. You wanna talk about above and beyond service. We were so happy that there was a solution and that all of our clients were so excited to receive their boxes on time. So thank you, Anna, not only for running the company, but for going above and beyond always. Yay, okay, all those peeps I just mentioned, you're truly going after what you want and creating the life that you crave and making my life a lot easier. You are go-getters and I'm so proud of you. So keep going, it's go time all the time. This has been Go Time TV. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed those big questions that I posed to you. Stay curious and keep exploring new questions. This is a really simple way to keep fresh ideas flowing and avoid getting stuck in place. Also, if this show brought any inspiration or positivity into your day, click the thumbs up below. Thank you so much. I hope you'll subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Susan Hyatt saying bye until next time. And remember, you only get one life. Make it big, make it bold, and make it count. It's go time.